Let's talk about the three key strategies to how to stop worrying and start living. And the first key strategy is to live in day tight compartments. The analogy comes from a giant ship on an ocean and the ship has watertight compartments. So in case of a leak in one compartment, uh, various parts of the ship are shut off from one another using these iron doors and the leak is limited to one area. Similarly, we need to shut the doors of the past and the future and just be focused on today, on the present. Now you might say that you have these goals and these ambitions and you have long-term goals and visions and all that stuff. What you need to do is break down your goals and figure out what you're gonna do today and then go about your business to go and make today a victory. Figure out what you need to do and go win on those goals today. The second key strategy is to go face your fears. Figure out what is the worst case scenario. Ask yourself, what's the worst that could happen? And then accept the worst case. Tell yourself that if the worst case did happen, what would happen? And once you accept the worst case, you can now begin to improve upon the worst case situation. And I want to read this from the book, My Fight, Your Fight by Ronda Rousey, the great UFC fighter. And she said, I know that I can deal when things are bad. I can come back when things are at their worst. I'm not afraid of losing all my money or losing my career because I know I'm capable of living in my car and rising up. Once you've conquered the worst things that could happen, there is no need to fear the unknown. The fight is yours to win. A profound statement here because what she's really teaching us is that once you have figured out the worst case scenario, once you've seen the worst case scenario and uh, you've been eye to eye with it and you can face it, once you know that you can live with it, then you can go and win great victories in your life. The third key strategy, it's rather counterintuitive. What it says is that when you are stressed out, when you are worried, you need to stop worrying about yourself and go help someone else out instead. Now, in the book, The Upside of Stress, Dr. Kelly McGonigal talks about this fascinating study of a thousand US adults from the age 34 to 93. And they were asked two questions. The first question was, how much ongoing stress do you have on a daily basis? And the answer was either high or low. And the second question they were asked was, how much time have you spent over the last one year helping other people out? And the answer was either a lot of time or not much time. Now, what they found out was really fascinating. For those people who had a very high level of stress but had spent very little time helping others, their risk of death had gone up by 30% in the last one year. But those people who had a very high level of stress on an ongoing basis but also spent a lot of time helping others, their risk of death was up by 0%. And that is huge. So they basically saw none of the negative sides of stress. They actually were able to counter the worrying and the stress that was going on in their lives. And that is a paradox. When you set out to make others happy, you get even more happiness in return. So there we have it, the three key strategies to how to stop worrying and start living. By the way, I don't create these videos for entertainment for I want you to get results from this knowledge. So let's talk about how to get the best out of these videos. Now, here's a question for you. Do you remember the three key ideas from another awesome book you read two weeks ago? My guess is probably not. And research has shown that two weeks after we retain as little as 10% of what we've read. However, that retention jumps up to 70% if we discuss what we've just learned and to 90% if we apply and do what we've just learned. So your learning increases nine folds just because you apply what you've learned. Now for a five to 10 minute investment of your time in taking action, you will see nine X improvement in your learning. So let's do it. And the best thing you can do to apply what you've just learned is to download the free PDF worksheet 
and summary of this book that we have created here and start working through it and applying it in your life. Also, join our Facebook group where we discuss all these amazing books for ambitious entrepreneurs every day. And don't let this precious learning go to, go to waste. And if this is your first time here at 2000 Books, I want you to know that we are constantly summarizing the world's greatest books for ambitious entrepreneurs. So make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you're constantly feeding your mind with the greatest ideas from the world's greatest books. And I'd love to hear which idea from this video resonated the most with you. Write it in the comments below. And if there's another book that you would like me to summarize, leave it in the comments below and I'll see what I can do.